And it came about, as we looked at last week, that people were asking the question, is it okay to have a flag in the service of your nation? Interesting question. And what does it mean to be a patriot? Can a Christian be a patriot? And we, we, we started to unpack that last week, and I want to finish it up this week. Because I really looked long and hard in Scripture to find someone who was a believer who was a patriot. And there's an answer that I'm going to be able to give you this morning. And with 4th, 4th of July coming, I really think it will encourage you. Heroes. Anybody else watch the NBA Finals? I am sorry, but a hero is not somebody who can make a jump shot or make a foul shot under pressure. Heroes are firemen who run into the flames to rescue people. Heroes are every police officer who puts on a uniform and goes to duty every single day to serve people. You know, um, EMTs are heroes because they don't know what they're that they're dealing with and, they're, and they run into situations to help people, you know? We confuse patriotism and heroes. We get this blur. We blur things. We use words. You know, you hear a word used on TV and all of a sudden it's like this sticky thing that, that gets applied there and we lose the understanding of what it means. What's a patriot? Pause and think about that for a second. What is a patriot? I came up with a definition last week that I want to read to you again. First of all, those degrees of patriotism. At a minimum, the word denotes love, devotion, and a commitment to protect one's country. That describes a lot of our citizens. But is there an example? Is there an example of a godly person who's also a patriot? And with that, would you turn to Nehemiah chapter 1? You know, one of the things that you're going to see behind me as I speak this morning, and I'm going to go over here a little bit so somebody can see. I'm going to block it all. What did Nehemiah see when he prayed? When, when this, we're going to look at this in a second. A patriot is a person who sees reality for what it is and is moved by God to do something about it. A patriot is somebody who sees reality as it is and then they are moved by the Spirit of God to deal with it. That's a patriot. Nehemiah chapter 1. We're going to break into verse 2. Here, Nehemiah is part of the Babylonian uh, contingent. He has been taken captive. He's a slave. He is no longer in control of his life. And here he is in the palace of Xerxes. He is, a, he is the lowest. He's a very important man, but he's a very... What's the word? He was expendable. He was a wine taster. He was a semi year He was not the guy at the restaurant who came up and took a little sip in the silver cup. Of course, he probably did take a sip in the silver or gold cup. But he to help you approve your wine. No, no, no. He was the guy that the king had on staff to taste the food, to taste the wine, to make sure it wasn't poisoned. He was a lab rat. He was a guinea pig. He was the guy who would take the fall first. So just the king, he was somebody the king really trusted. But he's also somebody God really trusted. And he was a patriot. Let's break in here. Hananiah, one of my kinsmen, came with certain men from Judah. And I asked them about the surviving Jews who had escaped exile and about Jerusalem. And they said to me, the remnant there in the province who escaped exile are in great trouble and repro reproach. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down and its fortified gates are destroyed by fire. 
by the way, he's flipping through photos of our community where we're broken down. Now look what his response was. When I heard this, I sat down and wept and mourned for days, and I fasted and prayed constantly before the God of heaven. And I said, O oh Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God, the, the one who keeps covenant, loving kindness and mercy for those who love him and keep his commandments, let your ear be now attentive and your eyes open to listen to the prayer of your servant, which I pray before you this day and night for the Israelis. Your servants, confessing the sins of the Israelites, which have sinned against you. Yes, I and my father's house have sinned. And we've acted very corruptly against you and have not kept the covenants and statutes and ordinances and commanded your servant Moses. Remember earnestly that you commanded your servant Moses that if your transgressions are, un are unfaithful, I will scatter you amongst the nations. But if you return to me and keep my commandments and do them, though you're outcast were in the farthest part of the heavens. Yet will I gather them from there and bring them to the place in which I have chosen to set my name. And now these, your servants and your people, whom you have redeemed by the great power and by your strong hand, O Lord, let your ear be attentive to the prayer of your servant and the prayer of your servants who delight and revere and fear your name, your nature and your attributes and prosper. I pray you, your servant this day, grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cupbearer. What a heart. What a compassionate heart. He saw stuff like we're seeing in our community. And he was moved. How was he moved? I want you to think about this for a second. How was Nehemiah moved? What was his first reaction? It was, we must do something about this. The second reaction was, Lord, we have sinned as a people. When you see some of the stuff that you see in Chester, in Delaware County, the good, the bad, the ugly, what do you think? Is your reaction, they deserve it? Is your reaction, oh, government will take care of it? Is your reaction, God, we're a wicked generation. We, your people, believers, we have not done what we're supposed to do. We have not done what we're supposed to do. You see, a true patriot is somebody who's moved. Some, if you are a believer in Christ, you can be a patriot. You can look at our nation and be moved. You can look at our community and be moved. You can, be, you can look at the situations that we see and the needs that we see before us and be moved by God to get on your face at first repent. Get on your face and say, God, what would you have me do? God, give me favor with those who can empower us to make a difference. That's a patriot who's a believer. 